Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. Today our topic is moisture content of soil by radiation method. So move towards our today's topic moisture content by radiation method. Soil moisture is a key variable in the water cycle, controlling the exchange of water and energy between the land surface and atmosphere. There is a need to measure soil moisture across a range of space and time scales. In this thesis, it is explored whether monitoring of terrestrial gamma radiation can be used to obtain soil moisture information. This is of interest because terrestrial dose rate is routinely measured within Europe-wide ambient dose rate monitoring networks after the Chernobyl nuclear accident in 1986. If a reliable relationship between measured ambient dose rate and soil moisture could be established, it may be possible to obtain information on European-scale soil moisture variation with a high temporal resolution. The overall aim of this thesis is to assess the accuracy of soil moisture determination from measured ambient dose rate. First, the theory of gamma ray attenuation is presented. Here, an exponential equation is established to describe the relation between terrestrial dose rate and soil moisture content. In addition, this theoretical analysis shows that the footprint of a typical dose rate monitoring station at a height of 1 meter has a radius of about 7 meters. It is also shown that 90% of the sensor response originates from depths between the top 12 to 25 centimeters of the soil. The average travel depth of a gamma ray is even shallower and ranges from 2.3 to 6.7 centimeters, depending on soil moisture content and soil density. Finally, this section presents a method to separate the contribution of terrestrial radiation and secondary cosmic radiation from the measured ambient dose rate. In this approach, it was assumed that the long-term contribution of secondary cosmic radiation was constant and that variations were related to changes in air pressure and incoming neutrons. In addition, precipitation effects related to rain and washout of radon progenies to ground that cause an increase of ambient dose rate are considered by excluding time periods, with precipitation in time periods less than three hours after precipitation. In the experimental part of this thesis, the accuracy of soil moisture estimation from terrestrial gamma radiation was evaluated using data from four gamma radiation monitoring stations. At each station, four soil moisture sensors were installed at 5 and 15 cm depth to provide reference soil moisture measurements. To extract terrestrial dose rate from measured ambient dose rate, the predicted secondary cosmic radiation derived using the approach described above was subtracted from the measured ambient dose rate. The results showed a positive correlation, R equals 0.65 0.71, between increase in ambient dose rate and precipitation, but the linearity is not strong. Therefore, it was concluded that the observed relationship is not suitable to predict precipitation amount or intensity from ambient dose rate measurements during precipitation events. The uncorrected ambient dose rate measurements were negatively correlated, R equals minus 0.66 minus 0.54, to atmospheric pressure and positively correlated, R equals 0.30.39, to the incoming neutron count rate. After removal of the predicted cosmic dose rate from the measured ambient dose rate, an estimate of the terrestrial dose rate was obtained that was not correlated anymore to atmospheric pressure and the incoming neutron count rate. This provided confidence in the developed approach to predict the contribution of cosmic radiation to measured ambient dose rates. The estimated terrestrial dose rate was related to soil moisture content using an exponential function with two fit parameters and reference soil moisture content for all four radiation monitoring stations. For daily soil moisture content estimates, the goodness of fit ranged from R2 equals 0.21 to 0.48, and the RMSE ranged from 0.048 to 0.117 CM3 CM3. The accuracy of the soil moisture content predictions improved considerably when a weekly resolution was used, RMSE ranged from 0.029 to 0.084 CM3 CM3. The considerable difference between measured and predicted soil moisture content can at least partly be explained by the fact that the terrestrial gamma dose rate is strongly determined by the upper few centimeters of the soil, which may not be well represented by the reference soil moisture measurements of 5 and 15 centimeters depth, due to near-surface gradients in soil moisture content associated with textural variation and the presence of litter layers.